my name is Sarah Dopp. I blog at Doppjuice, D-O-P-P-J-U-I-C-E dot com. I've been coming to Blogger. I've done all of the major Blogger conferences except for the very first one. How have the relationships that I've developed online shaped my offline life? I moved to San Francisco four years ago and I didn't know anybody for about a year because I wasn't trying to meet anybody and then I met one person and she said, oh my god, have you heard of Blogger? And she took me to like a women's weekend retreat in San Francisco. It was like 30 people hacking blogs for a weekend at somebody's living room. Um, and it like changed my life. I'd never been in a room where feminism and women's issues and technology and writing had all been central issues. I always thought I was a weirdo that I was so passionate about those things. And so through Blogger, through that community, I've just found this massive um, culture of people that has given me all the work that I have right now and given me most of the friendships that I have right now and it's been my audience for my voice and it's encouraged me and it's um, become my news source. I don't read the news anymore. I just watch Twitter and see what people are talking about and then I'll go read the news if they say it's important. What has been your most popular blog to topic recently and how do your readers affect your content? Two weeks ago, I was walking along the beach and there was a guy having a drug overdose and I stopped what I was doing and I took care of him and I sat with him for four hours and fed him and, and kind of nursed him back to health for a little bit. Um, and I wrote about that in detail on my blog. And it just kind of got swarmed with people. People were just kind of taken aback by, by how I chose to act in the moment and what was going on. And I usually write about technology and consulting and writing and artist stuff. And this was just completely off track. Me doing this really weird thing that would make most people extremely uncomfortable. And I got a ton of comments. And it made me realize exactly how much people care about my personality and my character more so than what I'm actually doing. For bloggers, um, my biggest piece of advice is to know what you're trying to do with your blog and be true to that. There's a lot of advice that floats around and most of it is irrelevant to what you're doing because it's not taking into consideration what you personally are trying to accomplish. I get people who are like, what can I do to make my blog better? And my answer is, okay, what does better mean? Are you trying to get more uh, traffic? Are you trying to make money? Are you trying to represent yourself? Are you trying to get work? Like, what are you trying to accomplish? Are you, are you trying to have a venting space for all of your issues? Or are you trying to teach people something? What matters most to you? Um, I think the internet is, is a tool. It's not a, it's not a path. It's something that you need to know what you're trying to do with. And then, and then you can mold it and work with it to make it fit your life. But the, the one piece of advice is don't listen to other people's advice. <laughs> Go figure it out yourself because your own path is going to be way better.